Hello friends, today we are discussing cracking in flexible payments. Payments are designed to fail after a specific time period and that is called the design life of the payment. And the failure criteria considered for flexible payments are fatigue and rutting. Fatigue is because of cracking and rutting is because of permanent deformation. When a wheel load is applied on the payment surface, it will cause the tensile strain at the bottom of the bitumen layer and fatigue failure occurs when this horizontal tensile strain at the bottom of the bitumen layer exceeds permissible limits and these limits are calculated as per IRC 37-2018. Bitumen is viscoelastic material which acts as elastic or viscoelastic solid at low temperature and viscous fluid at high temperature. Now, since this is a viscoelastic material, it is prone to cracking and deformation. At low temperature or high frequency, it is elastic solid and susceptible to cracking, where the phase angle is almost zero. Whereas at low frequency and high temperature, it becomes very ductile, the phase angle approaches 90 degree and it is susceptible to deformation. The fatigue cracking at low temperature and high frequency plastic deformations are reduced and they are concentrated in a small area and that is called the brittle fra fracture of the bitmus layer. Whereas at high temperature and low frequencies plastic deformations appear in many points and the strain hardening induce many failure point and that is called ductile fracture of a bitmus layer. When the payment is subjected to traffic loading, there will be permanent deformation in the material. At the critical locations, there will be strain hardening also. On continuous loading, stress concentration occurs at critical locations and this stress concentration leads to development of micro cracks. And over a period of time, on continuous loading, these micro cracks will become macro cracks. There are two types of structural cracks in the flexible payment one is called top down cracking that is the cracks which initiates from the top of the bitmus layer and propagates towards down these cracks occur due to the tensile strain at the top surface of the bitmus layer like this the second type of crack is bottom up cracking which initiates from the bottom of the bitmus layer and propagates to the top and these occur due to tensile strain at the bottom of the bitmus layer. Tolerance limits for design as per IRC is 20% of cracked area and whenever the cracked area is more than 20% we assume the payment has failed in cracking. There are six types of cracks which can be which can develop in a bitmus payment hairline crack, alligator or map cracking, longitudinal cracking, transverse cracking, edge cracking and reflection cracking. Hairline cracks appear as short and very fine cracks at close interval on the surface and width of these cracks is generally less than 1 mm. These cracks occur because of insufficient bitumen content in the mix or because of excessive filler in the mix or it may be because of improper compaction, either over compaction or compaction of a very hot mixture. Hairline cracks can also appear because of excessive moisture in granular layers. Now these cracks can be treated by spraying a fog seal or by application of rejuvenating agents or slurry seal or maybe microsurfacing also. The alligator crack or map cracks appear as interconnected cracks forming a series of small blocks which resemble with the skin of an alligator. And causes of these cracks are excessive deflection of the payment surface normally at wheel path or it may be because of inadequate payment thickness or because of weak subgrade or weak lower layers of the payment due to ingress of excessive moisture to pavement and saturation or it may be because of overloading of heavy commercial vehicles. Now generally the inadequate payment thickness or overloading of heavy commercial vehicles are the major factor for alligator crack or map cracks. 
Now, brittleness of binder due to aging of, aging of the binder and lowering of surface temperature due to weather conditions can also create a condition for alligator cracks. Now, these cracks can be of low severity, medium severity or high severity. When the area of, of the crack is very narrow and it is isolated, the crack may not be interconnected to other areas and not much distortion with almost no additional deterioration of the surface. And in such cases, depth of the crack and width of the crack is in the range of 1 to 3 millimeter. In case of medium severity, the cracks are interconnected, forming a small area similar to the skin of an alligator, like this. They may have signs of slight spalling with no pumping visible and depth and width of crack is 3 to 6 millimeter. Whereas in case of extensive severity, the depth and width of the crack may be more than 6 millimeter and sometimes, sometimes bitumenous surface pieces may be loose or missing. Pumping of water and fine material below the pavements may also be seen on the surface. Now these cracks can be treated by crack sealing using bitumen emulsions or by rubberized bitumen or modified bitumen or if it is severely cracked then milling and surface recycling may be a good option to remove these cracks. The another type of crack in the flexible pavements is longitudinal cracks and these cracks appear more or less parallel to the center line on a straight line along the road like this. They are in the direction of the traffic and they can also be either low severity, medium severity or high severity depending upon the width of the crack. If it is 1 to 3 millimeter wide and not very frequent cracks then it is a low severity. If it is 3 to 6 millimeter wide cracks it is medium and if it is more than 6 millimeter it is high severity cracks. And these cracks are caused because of the cracking at the pavement shoulder joint due to alternate wetting and drying beneath the shoulder surfacing which may be because of poor drainage or it may be because of improper or weak joint between two paving lanes and these cracks can be treated in different manners if it is a low and medium severity cracks then crack sealing preferably using rubberized bitumen is a good solution but if it is a high severity crack, cracks then remove and replace the cracked area with fresh patching. Transverse cracks appear in the transverse direction or as interconnected cracks forming series of large blocks perpendicular to the direction of the road. So these are also again low, medium and high and the width of the crack is same 1 to 3 millimeter, 3 to 6 millimeter or greater than 6 millimeter. Now these cracks are caused due to reflection cracks or joints in an underlying pavement layer or maybe because of low temperature brittleness or oxidation of bitumen and also structural failure at concrete base cores can also create such cracks or it may be because of shrinkage of bitumen mixes on account of low temperature and these cracks may be sealed using slurry seal or rubberized bitumen. Edge cracking. Edge cracks are formed parallel to the outer edge of the pavement usually 0.3 to 0.5 meter inside of the pavement edge and when there is no breakup or loss of material they are of low severity. When there is some breakup and loss of material in 10% of affected length, it is of medium severity and when it is more than in 10% of affected length, it is high severity edge cracking. Now these crackings occur because of lack of little support from the shoulder or maybe because of settlement or yielding of the underlying material, inadequate surface drainage, shrinkage in subgrade soil or non-provision of extra width of payment on curve or it may be because of inferior quality of material in shoulders. Now these cracks can be treated 
by promoting good drainage along the edge of the road. If you have good drainage, these cracks can completely be avoided and we should make sure that surface water will run to the nearby drain and it will not pond along the pavement edge. Or it can be treated by removing the dirty poor drainage shoulder material and by replacing it with a more permeable material. If truck traffic is substantial, then place a considerably thick structural overlay on the road surface of the order of 75 to 100 millimeter of hot mix to provide adequate support for heavier wheel load. Another type of cracking is reflection cracking. Now reflection cracks are the sympathetic cracks and they appear in bituminous surfacing over joints and underneath the cracked pavement. The pattern may be longitudinal, transverse, diagonal or block. So these cracks can be in any shape depending upon how the lower layer is cracked. The causes when the cracks in the old pavement have not been properly repaired then they will reflect on the surface. When the pavement is widened and the entire pavement is surfaced, the location of the crack will then be exactly on the junction between the old pavement and the widened strip or it may be because of differential movement across the underlying crack or joint. Now these can be treated in different manners. In case the pavement is structurally sound, then the crack should be filled with a bituminous binder having a low viscosity so that it can be poured and worked into the cracks. If the cracks are wide enough then a slurry seal or sand bituminous pre-mix patching can be used to seal these cracks. If the cracks are fine and extend over large area, a light cutback or an emulsified bitumen which is also called fog seal can be broomed into the cracks and lightly sand it to prevent the picking up of the binder by the traffic. Or stress absorbing membrane or stress absorbing membrane interlayer may be used to seal reflection cracking and prevention of occurrence of these, such, these types of cracks. So general treatment of cracked surface of a bituminous pavement is like this. In case of fine cracks, they can be treated by fog seal with light cutback or emulsified bitumen followed by light sanding. In case of medium cracks, then cleaning of crack with compressed air, jetting and then filled with bituminous binder having a low viscosity and it should also be followed by spreading of light sand. And wide cracks, a slurry seal or microsurfacing or sand bituminous mix or sand bituminous premix patching is required to fill the cracks. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can share it with your friends and write down your comments in the comment box.